Welcome to Five Good Minutes. You're listening to today's inspirational message on the book of Mark with Brady Randall. Do you remember seeing those Southwest Airline commercials some years ago where people were making awkward blunders and they were looking to skip town to get out of the situation and you hear the narrator say, want to get away? You've probably had those experiences, maybe not awkward blunders, but just with the craziness of life, you may have felt the need to just get away. But get away and do what? Today we're looking at the end of Mark chapter 1 where Jesus feels the need to get away and to be with and experience intimacy with his Father and thereby live out and live into his purpose. Verse 35, we read, Very early in the morning, while it was still dark, Jesus got up, left the house, and went off to a solitary place where he prayed. I wonder if you find it difficult to make time to be with God, and maybe you've wondered if it's all that important to begin with. Like, it's just really hard to find the time to make time to be with God, and you may have a million things that are demanding your time. Maybe you're going to school or you're involved in extracurricular activities. Or maybe you're a newborn parent and you're barely sleeping through half the night or you've got kids and they're running around everywhere or your job just eats out the day and the hours every day of your week. It's just hard enough to keep up with laundry, let alone make ample time to spend with God. And is it really worth it? And I've wondered that before myself. And each time I keep coming back to this fact, if Jesus, who was God in human flesh, had to make time to be with God, how much more so do I? I remember hearing a story about Martin Martin Luther, uh, who was a church reformer several centuries ago, and he had so many things on his day-to-day list to do, and it was said that he got up some three hours early to pray every day, and someone asked him one time, how do you have time with all that you have to do to pray for three hours? And his response was very convicting. He said, I don't have time not to. And what we see is that Jesus was intentional about making time to get away with God. He knew that he needed that intimacy with his Father. One of the reasons why many of us don't feel close to God is that we haven't been intentional about making daily time for him. And I just think about the most significant relationships in your life, whether it's a spousal relationship, a parent, a child, a best friend. What you know is that if you don't make relational equity time for that relationship, the relationship often suffers. And I remember hearing a story of a mom uh, several years ago, and she had something like five kids running around the house. And where was she going to find time with God with all of this craziness? And what I heard her say was she got away in a little room by herself with all the kids running around, and she put a sheet over her head as she was on the couch. And those 15 minutes she just gave to the Lord in the midst of all the hustle and bustle and craziness. You see, not only is time spent with God meant to recharge us, but also to solidify our purpose. Here's what we read in verse 36 to 39. Simon and his companions went to look for him. And when they found him, they exclaimed, everyone is looking for you. Jesus replied, let us go somewhere else to the nearby villages so I can preach there also, for this is why I've come. So he traveled throughout Galilee, preaching in the synagogues and driving out demons. Jesus had every reason to get off course. He had so many demands. People were looking for him. But he had his eye fixed on the prize. And after spending time with his father, he reinforced his purpose. He knew that he had to go to the nearby villages to preach, for that is why he came. He went throughout Galilee, preaching the good news of the kingdom, driving out demons. And not only that, but the remainder of the chapter, we read how he heals a man of leprosy simply by saying the words, Be clean. Jesus' purpose was to come and set people free. And here's what I take from all this, and that is if you and I don't have a clear purpose and expectation after having spent time with God, then we will constantly be dominated by the demands of others and their priorities. And that's just a very stressful posture with which to live. So would you simply ask God to show you the importance of getting away and having consistent time with Him, or maybe even the importance of meeting him for the very first time, because you can do that today. And as we've seen in chapter one so far, Jesus came proclaiming the good news of the kingdom of God, the reign and rule of God. Our call and response today to that good news is to respond by spending time with the one who makes it all possible and living out the purpose for which he made us and to which we were called. 
Thanks for joining us here today. There's a lot of great content to explore on Orchard Hill Plus and on the Orchard Hill main feed from the weekend. Have a great day. Oh, 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 oh,